I don't swim good. <laughs> just, just hit E when you get close. <laughs> just hit E when you get close. <laughs> what are you? Just hit E. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my god. <laughs>
I guess it wouldn't matter. No hair color. Do we want to go black hair or maybe we go with something like, I mean, it looks red, but it, I guess it's supposed to be red. My first complaint about this game is like browns don't look brown. Browns look more like a green or even like a sage color. So that's throwing me off a little bit. And red looks more like a like an apricot color. But um, maybe maybe we'll go with white. We'll make her look exotic. All right. So now we'll go into body. We've already made her shorter. Let's give her a little more height. Um, we made her young, put a little meat on her bones, um, skin color, we worked with that, hair length, we're going to put this back here, torso, so, I mean, that, we don't want, I don't have a long torso, so, yeah, neck length, uh, that, She's got a long neck. She's got no neck. She looks like she's like shrugging permanently. Okay. Um, make her neck average width and the shoulder width. I've got wide shoulders. Wait a minute. This is upper. Wait a minute. Am I doing this right? Oh, this is her, her boobs. Right? Upper torso? Yeah, that's her boobs. Shoulder width. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, no. She, she looks like a linebacker there. I mean... Let's make her a little less girthy there. Shoulder position. Yeah, she looks confident. Uh, chest width. What? Really? <laughs> oh my gosh, chest depth. So what's what's that like? Okay. So it basically told me when I logged in that I'm cold, that I need to get warm. Uh, maybe I can talk to this dude here. Who is this dude? E, hold for options. Oh, he's a dude. Is he a dude? Is he a real dude? Hold for options. Oh, he's a real dude. Wait, recruit? He's set to create a, a guild. The company is a guild. Oh, okay. Do what you want to do to start gathering things. Start gathering. Stone, thatch. Oh, look at how cute! Aww. Okay. Alright. So, do I just, like, beat things? Oh, look! She's an MMA fighter. Um... Uh, look at the kitties out in the water! Oh! <laughs> Whoops. What is that? What is that? Is that a warthog? Is that a warthog? That is the weirdest looking warthog. Is it dangerous? That's all I want to know. Maybe I should stay away. How about that? Let's not die like within like the first five minutes. Oh, I can punch trees. Oh, that's not good. I was dying. There was blood. There's blood. Um, probably shouldn't do that. Did I get anything? What is that? What is this? What is what is F one? Oh, I I claimed a settlement for some reason. Don't know. You guys, I have no idea what I'm doing here. All right, so let me punch another tree. I have a level up is available. Inventory access inventory to apply it. I for inventory. Sweet. I did get wood. Okay. So punching trees, like Minecraft, gives me wood. Um, I have stone here. I have some thatch. It says about level skills. Thatch is from trees. Okay. You get wood and thatch from trees. I said I leveled up. Did you level? Oh. Uh huh? The first thing I want for poison is fucking weight. My weight? Right here? Oh, okay. You'll, you'll more if you don't. And I loot everything, like, so. Skyrim, walking around, you can't move. Okay. Yeah. So basics, 
the basic elements. So, okay, what is this? Tools of the trade. Give access to crafting basic throwing spears. That one, yeah, no. You want to, the tools of the trade, that's the first thing you want to do that way. You start crafting picks and axes to chop down trees. And okay. Picks, to, picks is for uh, rock to get, like, pickaxes. Okay. How do I do this? Do I double clip? Okay. No. No. no? We have two points left. Yeah. Well, you can get the basics too. You're gonna want both those. Basics. Okay. And then you don't help me even use the next one. Just wait till we're learning. All right. I'm learning. Just disappeared. Um. What? Craft things. Oh, it's right here. So if it's highlighted with, if it's blue and blue, mm -hmm. like the light blue, that means you have enough mats to craft. Them. Oh, so I can craft a hat. And I can do, I can I'm gonna get my pick. So how do I do that? Just double click? Nice. That's got me a pick. And then, like right here. Okay, one. What did I just do there? Oh. Okay. There it is. Okay. Bottom left is just things you can actually craft. Gotcha. So when you craft it, it's going to go up to you, up in your inventory. Okay. Then you got to drag it from your inventory and onto your bar spot. Okay. So now I'm going to craft myself a hat. And voila, I can put it on my head. Look at that. Your pick you want to use on those. Okay. Nice. Okay, that's. That's hurting my eyes a little bit. My goodness. She okay, let me go into third person because that's hurting my eyes. Nice. Um the only complaint I have here is the un the unrealistic way the, everything breaks apart when you're done farming it like that equip fists. What? Equip fists or torch and use the harvest resources for and use to harvest resources from it. Huh? Equip fists. Oh, so I have to go back. There we go. Okay, so I can't have my... What is F2? Ah! Sweet. Level up is available. Access inventory to apply it. What am I whistling? Okay, so wait and water keeper. So we have hand to hand combat. Yes, I want to use bows. Bows then? Tools requires tools of the trade. Okay. Actually, you want to do where it says on the far left where it says unlock construction and circuit toggles. That way you can start right here. like your uh, fireplaces okay. and basic building stuff. Like your first like the first like housing stuff you can build is like thatch stuff, like thatch, thatch floors and thatch rooms and stuff like that. Okay. And yeah. now you now you now uh, I can go into now so this requires three scrolls scrolls. After you've done that, look at you see your top row, the mm -hmm. top left up there. So what now you've unlocked construction and so you click on that. And that has its own skill line. Oh. So now, basics of building. That's going to give you the thatch. See, and it tells you what's going to give you when you get it. Thatch wall, right. roof, floor, door, ceiling. Okay. So basically, you can build like a little a thatch house. Again. So I would nice. Okay. Well, yeah, I've got to be able to live somewhere. Handyman. I wouldn't worry about handyman or anything like that. Spray right painter. Now. Ooh. I would just save your last point for your next. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. So. I, I guess what I need to do I is to continue to gather. I don't really have any objectives, which it's a sandbox game. It's a sandbox game, so I suppose so, yeah. The objective is to craft, build stuff, and survive. Explore, find treasure, fight monsters. I mean, it's kind of, like I said, it's kind of Minecraft in that way. Yes, only I'm not trying to find monsters in Minecraft, not on purpose. Not on purpose. Okay, um, can we, we have to punch this tree down. Who is this guy? Can we talk to you? What's your name, sir? Access shop. 
Cosmetics vendor. What is this? You have nothing. Oh, you can... No, you have nothing. You have nothing, Jon Snow. Kitty! Oh my gosh! He's running away from me. Okay. Technical difficulties. We're back and... So anyway, you need to... Let's go ahead and... Um, what level are you anyway? Hit, hit uh, inventory, it should say... I and level four. Level four. Stat points. What does that mean? Stat points, too. Oh, you haven't. That's two levels you haven't used. Huh? Click on the. You need to click on the. Uh, oh. Yeah, click it. Click it. <laughs> now you got seven. I got seven points. Oops. I would just get your basic stuff first. Um, Hold on. So. Um, yeah, that allows you to tame stuff. So. But you need hand to hand combat. Oh, I don't have this. So go ahead and see how it links. Go ahead and click it. And now you can click Beast Mastery. And that unlocks a Beast, Beast Mastery skill line. Do I need that now, though? I mean, do I, need I mean, to... you can tame stuff pretty early in the game. I just don't think you can tame stuff on these beginner islands. But what we'll do is when you get to level 8, we'll just leave here and go back to our base, which is a place you can do all. Ah. Oh, you can do. Oh, do your archery that way. You can make a bow. Click on that, and you'll be able to make a bow. That's for guns. I don't need ballistics yet. Secrets of the bow. Oh, I don't have enough points. Okay. So now you can craft a bow. Nice. You can craft a bow. I don't have enough. Dang it! I need wood. Let's go punch some trees. So here's the thing. You can get wood and thatch from a tree with either the hatchet or the pickaxe, but one's more efficient at doing the hat it. So obviously the hatchet, if you want more wood from the tree, use the hatchet. You'll get more. You'll get two things, right? So watch. The top one's wood. What are you using? My hatchet? Yeah, see how the wood, you're getting more wood than thatch? See that? Now, if you want now, more, you want more you thatch, you need more thatch, use the pick. Use the, pick. The, the pick will give you more thatch, but it'll still give you some wood. So they both can do, so it, they both can do it, but one is more efficient at doing the other. You know what I'm saying? Oh. So if you're like, I need thatch, you're still going to hit trees, but you're going to use a pick instead of an axe. Oh. See how it switches back and forth? Yeah. Okay, can I can I do the? And so, like, I have a sickle, which you'll be able to make at some point when I think it's the advanced tools, and that's more sickles for getting uh, um, uh, fiber, and it, you can do it quicker. You know what I mean? Than just hand pulling weeds. Gotcha. Yeah. I'm over encumbered. How do I cook? So we need to make some food. So let's go ahead and craft. Go ahead and craft a campfire. I thought I did. Anywhere. Anywhere you can camp, here right here is. where we're at. You can camp one. You can uh, make it's right one. here. Well, if there's one already there, that's locked. Oh, that's, locked. that's somebody else's. You can't. Did you make that one? That's mine. Oh, I thought somebody else's. Okay, so, okay, so go ahead and open it. Open, open your inventory. Uh, uh, access, access inventory. So when you want to do, do something, you have to put the mats in it to do it. So you need. What do you need to make a fire? Wood. Yes. So put some wood in there. Right here. Yeah, crafting? drop it right there. No, drop it in the inventory. Now, what? Like, in the middle of your screen, which is light fire. Go ahead and light your fire. We didn't light the fire. Now, whatever meat you're going to cook, throw it in the inventory. And it will just, it would start to cook it. So, any meat, raw meat you have. Mm, that looks delicious. You can keep eating. It's not like, you know, it's not real world. Like, you got to keep eating a little bit. But it, it doesn't instantly go up. It'll slowly go up. You know what I mean? Oh, I may have eaten overeaten then. I, I ate like three steaks. <laughs> just okay. Just give it time when I go up. Oops. Okay, so what do I do with rotten meat? Throw it away. So I just throw it out of my inventory. Yep. Drop it. You can eat berries though, and berries are what you also use to tame some animals. Um. So water. Um. So water in this game, you can find grassy areas. Here, come this way. You can't obviously use the, the ocean water because it's salt water, so they don't let you use it. Oh, what's this? 
Peppers. Is that vegetables? Those are peppers. Oh, wild peppers. Hell yeah. Um, um, so you want to find a grassy area. Okay. Okay, right here. See if it works here. So hit X and go prone. Like you'd be laying down face. Now, if you're looking at the ground, right click and see if it tells you. See at the bottom left of your screen where it says the bottom left of your screen. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna left. <laughs> Jesus. So when you hit that, it's gonna pull up a mini game like a little bar at the bottom, and you're gonna you're gonna stop it in the I think it's the red or, red or green area. So, so hit you. Click, go ahead, click it. Click what? Hit your left. I think it's left click. I think. Oh. See the white area. Yeah. You want to stop that inside it. Keep going. Oh, that was bad. So, the better you do, the more water you can get from it. Make sense? No, go ahead and hit E. Did you drink it? You didn't drink it. Go back. Oh. You gotta drink the water. Now go up and drink. There you go. You made it. You drank it. Nice. So, that mini game, the better you do, the more water you can get from a spring. And then when you make a water skin or a water jug, you, you can do that and open up the inventory and put that water jug or water skin in the inventory and it'll fill it up. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And also, when it rains, you get water from that too. So, like you can craft water barrels for your ships and for your camp and then they just fill it up with rain. Drop down and give me 20. In the game, so. Everything's spoiling. Is there a way to preserve food? There is. You can make preservatives and stuff, but that's a little later on, obviously. I don't know how exactly. Like, I haven't played this. I just started playing this game a couple of days ago. And the guys I've been playing with have been teaching me stuff. And they haven't been playing that long either. So. All right. So, I mean, basic, you mean the basics. What I've showed you is kind of the basics of starting. But the goal of the game is obviously to explore, to get higher in your crafting, build bigger ships. Then, you, then when you get bigger ships, you put, you know, you get, like galleons have guns and stuff on them. You can go out and like actually fight like some of the ships of the ships of the damned. Like right now, if we saw if we were out in the water and we saw a ship of the damned, you run because we have no way to fight it. You know how many? There's no guns on that ship. So, but um, and there's certain sections of the game too. They're called like it's called golden era, like zones where they're really hard. There's like sea monsters. There's a kraken in the game. So, yeah. Oh, did you see the whale? Was that a whale? There are whales here, but it might have been a shark, too. They yeah, they look them up to the top. Oh. But there are whales in the game. That might have been a shark. What is that? That's a hammerhead shark. A big one. Yeah, it's pretty big. I thought it was a whale. Okay. Things, like I said, this, like I said, this is an early access game, so things are a little, like, wonky sometimes. So, like, you get, you know, yeah. you get used Okay. So, here's what we're going to do. We are going to go ahead and leave this island. You don't have to wait till you're level 8. I think that's just like the max. That's the max you can go to is level 8. Because they want you to leave. But, I mean, you've got the basics started already, so. Okay. So, we're just going to go out and hop on the ship. So when we get out here, you, climb, you go get on the ship by climbing up the back of it. Right? There's a ladder in the back. So, you go to the back and hit E and you'll climb up it. Okay? okay. Um. Don't no tomfoolery, because if there's something out there, it will eat you. So just go straight to the ship <laughs> and get on. Susan. Don't be annoying me. Okay. No tomfoolery. Have you met me? All my stuff is spoiling. I don't swim good. <laughs> Just hit E when you get close. <laughs> Just hit E when you get close. What are you? Just hit E. What are you doing? Oh my god. This is why I don't play games with you. <laughs> you really? What are you? Are you hit the right button? Stop swimming. Like when you get there, just let go of your mouse and hit E. Oh my. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. <laughs> oh. Is it locked? Yeah, there you go. Uh, <gasps> what? 
What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so, how do I climb? Hold up, stop, stop, stop. Yeah, yeah go ahead, go up. How do I up, climb? Up, up. E? Up. up. What, what, what's up in most games? <laughs> W. 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 <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Your bear is in the way. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Oh, there we go. Ooh, treasure? No, that's not treasure. No. So you're not going to be able to really interact with anything in the ship because you're not part of the clan. Okay, that's fine. It's all that's locked. probably but, I mean, good. You can obviously ride. Yeah, that's probably actually really good. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is see if I... Who's this? These are crew. So you can hire NPC crews for your ship. Angry Mary? That can control the sails. And when you get bigger ships that have guns, they can control the guns also. Actually, when you get to the, the galleons, which are general ships, you almost have to have NPC crew. Oh. Unless you got like 20 dudes, 20 uh, men and women just to hang around. That's not going to, you know what I mean? Right. Like you have to have some NPCs to do things. And they'll, like, they'll man your guns if you have them. They'll do your sails. They'll even drive the ship, apparently. You can tell them where to go, which I would never trust that. But as wonky as the game is right now, but... Uh, I gotta turn around somehow. Let's see if I can make this happen. I don't know if I can. Great. So slow going. Uh, oh, it, it, yeah. You, you can like when you're driving these ships, you can feel like you feel the it feels weighty. Like you can tell like. And weights have, also have weight, like how much they. And so the more weight you have on a ship, the slower, the more you know what I'm saying, the more slower the sword is gonna be. Yeah. Which would be like real life. Yeah. Walk the plank. And obviously the galleons, which are way bigger than this ship. Talk about slow. She is daring sitting there on the edge of the ship like that. Just hanging out. Angry Mary. I love the names of some of the NPCs. The dead Mary. <laughs> she falls off. <laughs> That's saving her. So to your right to your right there where the stairs go up and you see those two things. There was a dinghy there. Like it was cool, like a little oh, small little boat. Stole your you could... I have no idea where my dinghy went. <laughs> my dinghy. My dinghy has Someone flipped. stole my dinghy. <laughs> Maybe it's cold out. That's why it's gone. Jeez. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. All right. So now we're heading towards open ocean. So I have never used this. is the first time I've used these um, crewmen. So I got to figure out how they work. So the sails are up right now. So when the sails are up, mm -hmm. you got no wind. You can't go. It's, that's how you stop. Right. Okay. As soon as the sails drop, you're gonna get wind, and you're gonna um, start moving. Okay. Let's, Let's see if I can. I'm ready. We're on the move. Sweet. Can I climb up there? Probably shouldn't. Okay, so how well I navigate the ocean swimming. <laughs> oh, my God. Here's a bad part about the game. What's that? I mean, you can call it bad. I mean, whatever. It, it, it's traveling in this game is... is it's slow it's, going? Yeah. yeah. So you can't see it, but if you see it, look on my screen. Look over here on my screen. See the boat yeah. here, right? So you see that arrow? That is the wind direction. What happens when you drive into the wind? Obviously, you're going to be slower, right? So, But if you're going to a certain area, you have no choice. The good thing is you can turn your sails. Like in real life, you can turn your sails to catch the wind. But if it's right coming right at you, there's really nothing you can do, right? So, But if you're going a certain way and you can, and you can angle your sails enough to catch the wind, it'll help. So... So the NPCs now will actually man my sails and turn them when I tell them to. So whereas before, when I came in here to meet you here, I had to get off the steering wheel, go to each mast, turn it when I wanted to turn it, which is kind of annoying. Yeah. But um, so now I can just use them. To... And, you know, tell them. And I can steer the boat. 
So we need to go. I want to try to get to my base, which is, but which is pretty far away. I think so. I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't. Yeah, that will take. A... Look how pretty. Oh, that's one thing they've done really good in this game is the water looks amazing. Like it looks amazing, and like depending on the time of night. Or, you know, there's weather also. It'll, it'll rain. You can come get in storms out here. You'll have, see huge waves. Yeah. Me and, uh, me and Buck, it's like, it's, that's whose ship that is. It was Buck. We, we saw this treasure, and we went to go grab it, right? And so we hopped in a dinghy to like, kind of like go over and get it. So we hopped in the dinghy and got halfway there. A cyclone hit. And there was like water spout tornadoes. All around us, we're like, "Yep, we're dead." Oh my god, we're gonna die. Oh my, we actually lived, but it was crazy. Yay! You gonna sing us a pirate song? Do I know any pirate songs? Something to do with booty. All the single ladies. No, it is. No, that's no. What? No. <laughs> oh, no, I don't. I have no idea. Uh. Yo, hoy, the, the, I have no idea. So you really don't want me singing a pirate song. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam. That's the wrong genre. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely not a pirate song. Oh my gosh. It sounded like uh... <laughs> He's not like Dory from <laughs> from uh, Finding Nemo. Um, uh, don't stop. <laughs> that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Um, if you're not a member of the family and you'd like to come to the family reunion, please by all means hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every time I upload, which is at least three to five times a week. I hope you're enjoying Atlas, and we'll definitely be back here soon. This is our first look. I'll see you later. Ciao.